and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Braum. First time playing Braum with Patch 1.4. Patch 1.4 just came out. We had to wait about a half hour, um, gosh, almost an hour actually, since uh, we just finished up um, the Frozen, uh, Frozen Fortune deck. Uh, it's been almost an hour that we've been just kind of chilling, waiting, but the patch is now out. Now we have four mana Braum, more expensive because Braum has power. And the first time Braum survives damage, we get a Mighty Poro just that very first time as well. So yeah, we're going to be trying out a uh, new Braum, new Vladimir, uh, trying these two together with all just this other, you know, Freljord and Noxus stuff. There's so many cards you can really play in this kind of deck. <clears throat> this is what I'm going with. Um, we'll see how it goes. I, I wish I had more card advantage, like draw card draw. Um, but we got like our Crimson Curators that can create a bunch of Crimsons for us and, and things like that. Um, so we'll see how uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of testing out new new Braum. And I, I have some other new Braum decks we'll play tomorrow um, and in future days as well. We got one might for overwhelm for both Braum and like these other things. Like if we're making things grow with Take Heart, Fury of the North, we've got a might to be able to give it overwhelm. I got calling, two calling strikes in here because I feel like a lot of people are going to be trying out new Braum. Because new Braum does look pretty sweet. So I could see other people playing Braum. And so we, we got calling strikes already ready to go um, for the new Braum meta. All right. Uh, let's play some games. It looks like we're we're so new into the patch update we can't play ranked yet. So let's just play this. Oh, come on, let's go to Freljord Noxus. And Um We'll go this guy. We have any Brahmi mo yeah, we got the Brahmi emote. Uh get our Vladimir emote. And our Timo emote. That's my favorite one. We'll do that one too. Maybe this one. All right, so let's play some Vladimir Brom. Yes, the new the new board is out. I don't know if you can. It doesn't look like, or at least I tried buying a new emote. It wouldn't let me. It's just too, it's like too early. It wouldn't let me buy anything yet. But the the there's supposed to be a lease in um, package with like sleeve board and something else and that package wasn't wasn't there in the store it didn't show up so i didn't want to buy the board without getting the, the whole package uh callista hecarum all right new hand Yeah, that'll be interesting to see what the soundtrack is for the Lee Sin board. I'll try I'll we'll we'll try to play that one for Zed's Fortune later on. Should hopefully have that um, soundtrack ready to go by then. And that board ready to go by then. The winter's claw strikes. Alright, so I crafted Sejuani Timo, and I was wondering if you can give me some little advice on the deck. Uh yeah, like you want to, you know, you want to get your, um, <clears throat> the two mana two three. The winter's claw. Uh, Starlet Seer, there you go. You want to get your Starlet Seer and, and I just can't think of names right now. Um, and the three mana three three, you want to get those two cards in play and before you're casting spells because you want to get, like, those are like two really important cards to be mulliganing for. You want to keep those in play as long as you can. I don't think it's going to be everybody was Kung Fu fighting. I don't think that's going to be the soundtrack. Puff Cat Peddler, yes. Yes, those two cards. Yeah, 
Because, yeah, like, Peddler is really important to give your opponent a whole lot of puff caps. Starlet Seer does a good job pumping up your units. But yeah, basically you want to get to the point where between Peddler and Teemo, you just give them so many puff caps that every single turn they're drawing a puff cap. And with you have a leveled up Sejuani that frostbites their whole team because of that. Vladimir works. Supper. That egg? Did it move? The bloody of a better. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Still. I don't remember the name of the person that that wrote that song, that everybody was kung fu fighting song. I know it was just like it was just like a B-side on like one of their albums that I know they like he did just like one take and it was just pumped out in like 15 minutes it was just like a it was like a filler song on the B side of that of the album that like uh, you know wasn't anything that like it really was just just to be like alright we need to fill like some space how about this and then it turned into you know the most popular song that he made and just like one of the most popular songs but he was coming for fighting. One suffers, another dies. <clears throat> and that just makes it zero. Sweet. Do you even need to play the take hearts? Carl Douglas. That's who it was. Carl Douglas. Alright, new Brahms already looking good. Your taste is impeccable. Lee Sin Bundle is now live. I may have to just restart again and uh, reload. I wonder if I wonder if ranked. Can anybody check to see if does ranked work for y'all now? I still I can't play ranked. Anybody? Does ranked work for you? Yes, no. If it works for you, then I'll exit out and re-enter. Okay, still no ranked. Okay. So still no ranked, so we'll just keep playing. And there we go, Braum Sejuani. Told you we'd find some new Braum right away. That's why we got our culling strikes. Smart. So Ember Maiden, while a good card, probably not what we want in the Braum Mirror was a little worried about that. I'll try anyone you want. From mirror. Now we don't get turn three Braum, because now it's four mana. It costs the same as all these others. Look what you did. Sweet. I found my family. My oh, well, that's broken. <laughs> five five Cribs and Curator. That's pretty broken. Glory of 
Maybe I should just have my 1 1 block the T2. I love a man with Yeah, I should just have my 1 1 block the T2. Yeah, nope, no Mighty Poro animation. Sometimes I see heart just needs warm smile. So I will almost level up Rom. Vladimir is leveled up. Down to four. Doesn't look too amazing for me. Sometimes I see hot, just needs warm spot. I wish that would have leveled up Braum right there. But Ember Maiden can level up the Braum. But Ember Maiden puts me down to three. And if they have some way to pump up the power the, of the health of what's up Stand behind so they go it's like take heart doesn't save them like fury of the north wow At least Crimson Disciples out of here. And I'm glad I didn't play Ember Maiden. Remember your lessons? Teach me again, just to be sure. No, Demolitionist doesn't win because we have Cooling Strike. I have the name. I need the reputation. Yeah, now play Ember Maiden. My turn. Your path ends here. All right, good job, Cooling Strike. Ember Maiden would do one damage to me, but it would do a lot more damage to them. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I only have one life. I should have blocked, should have blocked their two-two with my one-one earlier. Could be at three right now.
Come on, let's attack. Let us attack. Let's see what they're made of. Yeah! On the bra mirror, we had bra. Braum wins the Braumir. If anybody if anybody has rank start working for them, please let me know right away. If anybody has ranked mode start working for them, please let me know so then I will start joining ranked. Okay, another Braumir. Okay, rank mode is is now up. Okay. All right, so I'll restart after after this. Yeah, the yep, the patch is live. So they're going poros. Already and welcome. Not bad. I can do whatever I want. Hey, Kordak. I help build this empire. Probably should have played the 3 1 instead of the 3 3. Just had one, one mana for Elixir of Iron. All right, so I'm going to pass with them wasting their whole turn. Just going to pass. I think that's actually a I think that's a pretty smart pass. I'm I'm very happy with that pass to be honest. Especially now with this Ember Maiden. <laughs> they are are they just dead? They may be just dead. So they're thinking my stuff's gonna die anyway, but that did pump up the power of these two. And we got to do two damage to them with the Crimson Disciple. They look pretty dead. <laughs> that was a perfect Ember Maiden. That was a perfect Ember Maiden. Okay, let's restart the client and see if we can get rank to work. Oh, okay. It, never mind. Rank's not ready? Oh. Well. Too late. We're already restarting. But yeah, I kicked you out of the queue. It's not ready yet. Loot? 
Ranked reward. Cool. It looks like the exact same as this thing. There's the Lee Sin bundle. Purchase it. Nice. All right. Uh, play. Vladimir Brom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ranked isn't working out. Not ready yet. Um, we'll go. We'll be playing the. We'll be playing that board with the Zed's Fortune deck. All right, fine. We'll play now. Let's see what the music is. Yeah, that loot, it seemed like something, like it was going to be something cool. All right, mirror match. seem like anything's happening with this music. Oh, Alright, change the pet. Who do you want me to change the pet to, Bio? Is there not the ability to... When you do, like, the redeem, change a pet, can you... Um, change it to Von Yip. Okay. Uh, can you type in there also? Like, is there like a place to type? Like, where you can type Von Yip? If not, I need to figure out why not and Hello, change that. What have you got us into now? Advent. Come here, handsome. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? Yep. We'll go use Von Yip. My bad, my bad. My bad. I wish this didn't kill my Crimson Disciple. It's also a 6-6. Six, six. Sure hope they don't have Elixir of Iron. Sure hope this works. And we made another Crimson Awakener. With our Curator. Ha ha ha. Got our anti brom card. Man, 
opponents surrender so easy and normal. Alright, so we want Von Yip. Here's Von Yip. Vladimir Brom. Ah, ranked us up. Let's go. Here we go. And it's cr Cranky Panda. Who has the mighty Poro for like their icon, which looked like, kind of looks kind of like a panda, and cranky. I don't know. These are both four mana cards, but they're both so big. They're hard for a Swain Ezreal deck to deal with. I don't know. I'm supposed to keep two four mana cards though. But oh well, we are. Who day? Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> First of the day. Von Yep's a noisy cat. Dang. Talk about a four drop that's hard to kill. Talk about a four drop that's hard to kill. Thank you, Tyler. Hope, hope life's going good. So the question is, do I lead with Braum so that then I can play Awakener and create a Mighty Poro? I think that I think the answer is yes, that I lead with Braum. Cool. I think I was gonna die anyway. Now we got a Mighty Poro. Put 10 power into play. Boo. And yeah, they can use a small removal spell to kill Braum, but Braum already did its job. Put a Mighty Poro into play. Um, get this Arachnoid Sentry down to one health. Uh, which is going to be good for my Ember Maidens. Yeah, we checked out the new Gauntlet trailer. It wasn't very informative. It's basically just a, a Draven uh, trailer. Um, you know, it doesn't say, like, if there's an entry fee... You know, how many times can you play it? That kind of stuff. Remember your lessons? Teach me again, just to be sure. All right, because I want to, I want to play the Ember Maiden. I wish I would have just played Ember Maiden, Ember Maiden. I'll kill both of those. Uh. 
So their Swain's leveled up, their Ezreal is basically leveled up. Go veteran. I was gonna go awakener. To trigger the Crimson Disciple, but yeah, I guess I guess we're already gonna have that kind of triggered, aren't we? Yeah. Alright, we'll go we'll go veteran. We'll go veteran. Sounds good. No, I don't think the Leviathan discard was weird, because I don't think they really have time to play Leviathan. I think it makes a lot of sense to discard Leviathan. Probably some Will of Ionias and stuff like that. Concussive Palm, maybe. But Concussive Palm, they probably should have played before I even attacked. They had the opportunity to. They could add a 3-2 blocker. What do y'all think of the board music for Lee Sin? Okay, just those kind of removal spells. Taking 11. Down to four. Yeah, the music is like meditation. Yeah, whatever. All right, GGs. Oh, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, still GGs. Okay. Wait, do they have? Oh, ravenous flock. Oh man, yeah, if that was a ravenous flock, I guess they could stay alive. Wow, that would have been crazy if they would have just stayed alive with one mana, which I guess that could have happened, jury rig ravenous flock. That would have been crazy. All right, so that was a 5-0, but the first four were non-ranked. That was only 34 minutes. Let's Let's play another one. I'll play a little bit more of the deck. The first four were just normal. Not the best tests. I wish they would have just had the rank right away. Maybe I should have just continued to wait, but you know, I just I just don't know exactly when rank would start, and so it's kinda hard to just sit there and wait forever. Uh, I don't know if the deck really suffers for dropping Vlad for Swain. I'd, 
I could see Swain being better. Like, Swain would be better in some scenarios. Vlad would be better in other scenarios there. You know, they're similar. You... You can, you can kind of build around either one. You can build more around Swain or build more around Vladimir. Either way. So I take two damage from Crimson Disciple, but we do kill Precious Pet. And we work our way towards killing Shadow Assassin. down to nine. Now we don't kill Shadow Assassin. <laughs> it's kind of weird that they didn't Do 10 damage to them. It's kind of weird they didn't put in Shadow Shadow Assassin back in. It's like if I attack here and they block my 5 1 Ember Maiden. Uh, 10, 12. I can do 12 and I can put them down to 1 with just the transfusion. Uh, I think that's all I can do though. Come here. Let's get a good look at you. So I can cast Transfusion just to do three damage to them. Or let's see, I could protect Ember Maiden with it. Ooh, I could also just use Elixir of Iron. Okay. And then put them down to one. So if, if they don't have any interaction, this will be, you know, lethal. But, you know, maybe they have Will of Ionia or something like that. We tried. The Yordle here is with me. <clears throat> All right, so I probably want, uh, probably want harsh winds this turn. No, maybe I just calling strike. This is so risky that I don't have harsh winds now. Never keep my guests waiting. 
amazing. I will play my part. Uh oh. That's scary. So the problem is I didn't have lethal if I just went straight to attacks. I only dealt six damage to them. So it's not like it's not like I could have just gone straight to attacks and killed them. But yeah, harsh winds would have been looks I guess I needed harsh winds. Um Yeah, it looks like I needed harsh winds. Problem is we wouldn't have had like that great of attack if we would have taken our whole turn off to harsh winds though. Yeah, that, that Noxus of Lucid deck is just so good. It really is. Such an underrated deck. Alright, playing against Burn. We're gonna need some early defense. Ooh, I like this Death Lotus. And I like this Omen Hawk. And I like that Braum. I was out, Vanya. I can do this. Just gonna put this here. That's why I need to not play Omen Hawk so I could have Culling Strike kill Boom Crew Rookie. Yuck. I don't like drawing the two Vladimirs. Too expensive. I don't. I don't think it's an easy deck to play the Noxus Elusives. I think it's. It's a really. I think. It, I think it really is a, a pretty difficult deck to play. But uh, getting like those last points of damage are not always real easy. But I think it is really powerful. But yeah, Crimson Disciple probably is the most important card. I'd never keep my gifts crazy. Let me have this mighty poro. Yes? Oh wait, that's gonna kill my problem. I should have played one of these things in response. Perfect. Let's wait for them. That went well. well. That went well. Death Lotus. They should still be dead. Um. I am not playing Ember Maiden to do one damage to me, so a Mystic Shot and a Gig Excited kills me. So I'm gonna force them to. Force them to be able to have two Get Excited. 
Like, that's the only, you know, like, that's what they need. Don't have it. Oh, come on. Don't have it. You already had multiple Noxion Fervors. Oh, no, they have... Never mind, they just have three Mystic Shots. Wow. Yep. Yep, they drew one of those Mystic Shots right there. They need to draw a shot or get excited. Their deck usually just plays two to get excited. Yeah, that was crazy. Alright, last game, either way. <clears throat> With this deck. We're at 46 minutes, last, last game. We'll get to our other decks. Braum, Sejuani, Katarina. I like all of these. I'll keep them all. Yeah, thankfully one of the one of thankfully one of the Noxian fervors we countered, but they still dealt two damage to us because it was the Legion Grenadier. Um So yeah, like you know, Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, that's that's six. The Noxian Fervor, nine. The um, the Legion Grenadier dying, 11, and then the uh, Decimate, 15. 15 damage that wasn't through combat. Advent. Come here, handsome. Hello, dear. Wasn't like an attacker hitting me. Um, they only dealt... Did they only deal one damage of somebody hitting me? Because then they had the Boom Crew Rookie... That was 17, and then also the 2 1 attacking, that's 18. So that's 18 damage of non non attackers. I think we only took one damage from the Boom Crew Rookie as like it's something that actually dealt damage to us. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Alright, so this is going to work out just fine for us. Katarina levels up, but goes back to their hand, so it slows them down even more. You really don't want to play Katarina on turn three like that because of like that recall. So, like we're we're doing just fine. I have too many good cards to play. Like, next turn, I want to go Crimson Awakener before combat. But I can't do that and have Transfusion available. I think I'm just going to play this slow with the two Transfusions this turn. I'm not going to go... I'm not going to play any of this stuff first. And, Kind of play this, play this slow. Man, they're passing. I could have them waste all their mana and everything and just pass back. I feel like I'm in a good spot right now. I wasted two mana, they wasted eight. I guess five, kind of technically, but yeah, just five. Still, it's a lot of mana. From 
I don't think Poro decks are necessarily bad. I think we'll make a good Poro deck. Take heart back. If they do, that would level up my Braum. So the answer is nope. Uh, seven mana next turn. All right, GG. Uh, sorry, Mickey. I didn't pet the cat for you. All right, so yeah, the deck feels pretty strong. Lots of like cool things you can do with this. You know, you got to be kind of aggressive. Uh, you know, don't have like a ton of card advantage, but just the size of everything. The size of these things are huge. Um, so yeah, like this, this deck feels pretty good. Both, both of those losses were, were both losses that we barely lost that, you know, like our opponents had just the right cards to kill us. Uh, definitely felt like they could have been wins, um, against the two burn decks. Um, I don't think that's, I don't think those were necessarily too bad. Um, so there we go. That's Vladimir Brom. Braum's looking good already. We're going to be playing some more Braum tomorrow. Um, but, you know, those of y'all watching on YouTube, feel free to let me know what you're excited about with this patch. What do you want to see uh, me build? We're going to be playing some Anivia up next in War Mother's Control. Anivia and She Who Wanders, two new cards in a, in a donation deck there. Um, and then we'll be trying out the new Nab cards, see how they feel with nabbing from the bottom with the Zed's Fortune donation deck after that. Uh, tomorrow's stream is going to be an early one, early stream tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we'll play some more. We're definitely going to be playing some more Braum in different versions. Because yeah, I think Braum works, like this new Braum looks really good. And I think this Braum can work with Vladimir, can work with Sejuani, can work with Swain. And also work in other spots. Like tomorrow, um, I'm going to be playing, uh, I built this Braum Karma. We're going to try some Braum Karma tomorrow. But anyway, uh, that's it here for Vladimir Brom. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.